Okay, so we are going to use a shape file of points and a CSV of points and extract those, extract raster values at those points. So we need two libraries for this. We need the tear library and the SF library. Terra is mainly for raster data and the SF library is mainly for vector data. I'm also going to set the working directory to where my code is saved, where, where my code and all of my data is saved. So that's that right there. I'll just include that here. Okay, so let's import our data first. First, we need to import our points data. I'm gonna start off with the shape file and then I'll do a CSV as well. So we're gonna use the stread function from the SF library to import our shape file of points. So I believe my data is called samplepoints.shp. There we go. So you can see we have five points. They have an X and Y value. We have a coordinate reference system and a bounding box. That all looks good. We're also going to import a raster. My raster is, I believe, from the Sentinel satellite. I'm just going to call it B2. And we're going to use the rast function from the Terra library. There we go. We can take a quick look. So we have a raster here. We have, it's just one layer, resolution. We have a reference system that matches the reference system of the points. That's really important. And I want to. I, what, what we're going to do is extract the values at all five points in the B2 raster. So if you want to take a quick look at what these data sets look like uh, spatially, we can plot them in QGIS. Okay, so I already have them here. We have five points. These are the five points that we have in our shape file. And this is the B2 raster. So what's the value here, 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 and here? That's what, we're going to, that's what we're going to explore. So let's go back to R. Uh, the function is pretty straightforward. It's, the function is called extract. And what we need to do is tell the function which raster we want to use and which shapefile we want to use. So we want to use the uh, B2 raster and we want to extract them at the points. Let's save the, let's save the uh, variable to something. I'll call it r.points and that's that. So now we can take r.points and see what it looks like. Let me clear the console actually and run it again. There we go. So here are the here's the ID for each of the five points, each of the five points here. And then we have the B2 value at all five of those points. If you also want the X and Y values, that's very simple. Just set X, Y equals to true. And then you get the X and Y values as well, the Latin long. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to extract values from a raster using a CSV of points as opposed to a shapefile. So I have all of the standard code uh, that I had before. So my working directory, my libraries, and uh, my raster. I'm now going to import a CSV of points. So points.csv. And I'm going to use the read CSV function to uh, import my CSV file. And my CSV file is called points.csv. Okay, so I'll take a quick look at that. There's my points. And the next Part is pretty much the same pretty much the same we are going to use the extract function um, I'm going to use extract and the first thing we do is list the raster which for us is b2 and then we uh, specify the points file this we're gonna run this and we're gonna get an error and I will explain why so here we go the issue is that is that my CSV has three columns and the extract function only wants an X column and a Y column. So I need to change the import, uh, the, the line of code that imports the, the CSV so that I'm only getting my X column and my Y column. And I'm just gonna create a simple index um, right here. 
I only want columns two to three, just one, two, three, uh, and it's only going to import the two columns that I care about. Let's take a quick look. There we go. So let's try that again. And it worked this time. And there you go. You have an ID and you have your values from the roster. You can also keep the X and Y values. And there you go.